UBS is one of the world's largest financial services firm. Um, in terms of how we define it, you know, our mission, um, it's to be a, a trusted source of advice. Um, I would like to see us define ourselves as a, a firm that facilitates prosperity. Well, shared value could be enormously important to um, revitalizing capitalism. I mean, right now, we are in, uh, you know, multiple existential crises. We have a crisis of confidence in capitalism. We have um, a crisis in the environment. We have crises in, in global health. We have a crisis of income inequality. Um, we have, obviously, a credit crisis going on, so a banking crisis, sovereign crisis. So when you think about dealing with these massive challenges, you have to do it in conjunction with the private sector. You have to do it being conscious of where an enormous amount of economic power resides. Shared value is simply, in my view, putting a societal lens on capitalism, which is arguably the most powerful tool or mechanism for creating uh, wealth and prosperity that the world has ever seen. So shared value is the next iteration of capitalism. I fundamentally believe that given all the uncertainty in the world, um, it's very hard for an investor to have great conviction in what they do. You can see that in today's market. Volumes are very low. There's no conviction, right? Well, from my standpoint, if there is more transparency into business models and business actions and business outcomes, you can have better conviction. With better conviction, you can make stronger bets, more lasting bets. You can invest with greater confidence. Arguably, shared value or sustainable investing is really, really good for the capital markets. When I talk to executives at UBS on shared value, in, to some extent it's about consciousness raising. It's about um, sharing an, an insight into how we can drive business on behalf of our stakeholders, our shareholders, our employees, our communities. Um, it, it's a consciousness raising exercise um, to make it clear that we can simultaneously um, support the firm and the needs of society. I think the most enlightened executives understand that this is a matter of their very existence. I mean, to, to deny the extent to which the macroeconomic factors driving the need to understand shared value, um, to not understand that by an executive, it is, um, it's an existential question. So I think, you know, the thought leaders can take a leap of faith, even if it is initially a leap of faith, to, to understand enough the ability to, uh, to move a business forward um, sustainably. Um, I think the, the, the most far-sighted executives really understand that need. Um, so I do believe that to some extent we're at an inflection point, you know, beyond having to prove the business case, and now we have to scale the business case. I think shared value, I mean, ultimately, it's, it's the only thing that matters. If, if, if the private sector's intention is to optimize returns to shareholders, well, ultimately, doing the right thing by all your stakeholders, and that includes your community, is the same as doing the right thing for your shareholders. So it's enormously important, and issues of environmental, social, and governance performance are incredibly material to the investment process.